12 news you've heard of DNA testing kits to find out your ancestry like 23andMe, Ancestry DNA, and My Heritage. But what about finding out the makeup of your dog? Probably a lot of people want to know about their breed. Team 12's Tram Mai joins us now with an eye-opening look at the genetic background of three dogs to find out if they're really what they're all supposed to be. Tram? Hey guys, it's a fascinating look at your dog's DNA. If you have a mixed breed and want to know more about your mutt, now you have the chance. But what if the purebred you bought isn't exactly what you thought you got. We're finding out. Meet three dogs, three different breeds. There's Presley, a golden mix, Hamlet, a full Yorkie, and Emmy, 100% Maltese. Or are they? Here's how we're gonna find out, through Wisdom Panel Health, touted as the world's leading canine genetics company. It tests for more than 250 breeds, types, and varieties. First up, meet my dog, Presley Ann. She's 11 years old, and we definitely consider her like a second daughter. We rescued her from one of the Golden Rescue groups here in the Valley, so we know she is definitely part Golden Retriever. But you see this part right here, this white chest? This is something else, and we've always wondered, what are you? What is the rest of you? Hmm? We want to know. So we cannot wait to find out. So I've got my DNA test kit. I don't know if you're going to like this. Open. Presley. <laughs> Open. Ah. Ah. Presley. OK, so this was a lot harder than I thought. But after struggling for a few minutes. That's a good girl. <laughs> Now, what about Hamlet? <laughs> Kim Sims is crazy about her little guy and has all the paperwork to prove he's purebred. Guaranteed he's going to be 100% Yorkie. Hamlet, are you ready? It's just like Perfect. Mama brushing your teeth. <laughs> now, here's Emmy. I love her like a child. I don't have children, so she is my child. Stephanie Tolman is just as obsessed <laughs> about her furry daughter. She is a Maltese. I actually helped the breeder deliver her, and I cut her umbilical cord. <laughs> you what? I cut her umbilical cord. Seriously? So we, <laughs> so we have a very tight bond, yeah. Let's do it. It's right. just like brushing her teeth every night. <laughs> Two weeks later, the results are back. For Presley, I was shocked. <laughs> Turns out she's more lab than golden, and she's an eighth German Shepherd? The other half are dogs from herding, Asian, companion, and guard groups. <laughs> now, what about Hamlet? Is he 100% Yorkie? Turns out Hamlet is 75% Yorkshire Terrier. Oh, 75 is better than none. <laughs> <laughs> and 25% broken up into specific breed groups, such as sporting and terrier. Huh. So does that change? the way you think or feel about Hamlet? No, actually no. And remember Emmy? Are you ready, Emmy? <laughs> I think she's ready with her tail. Okay, Emmy is 100% Maltese. <laughs> oh, you're 100% Maltese, baby. Regardless of the results, it doesn't make much of a difference to these owners. Yeah, he's still part of the family. And you love her so much. Yes. That you got a second one. I did. That's right. Meet Emmy's little sister, Minnie, from the same Maltese mom and breeder. So there's no doubt Minnie is also a purebred. By doing this DNA testing through Wisdom Panel Health, not only do you get your dog's genetic makeup, there's also information on your dog's genetic health screening, which includes genetic mutations for some drug sensitivities and more than 120 other